Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am sharing with you what is inside our art card. Woohoo! I'm so excited to share this with you. So this is an Ikea art cart, um, or cart, an Ikea cart, three-tier cart. And I actually found this at a garage sale for $5. I was stoked. And I really like Ikea's brand over any other brand because they really are so strong and sturdy. I have I also have one from Michaels, um, and it's actually a longer one. And I do love that one, but I, if Ikea made longer ones, I would definitely go with Ikea because... Um, you know, I have felt the Michaels carts and they're just not as sturdy as this Ikea cart. Like Ikea made their carts extremely well. So I am going to flip the camera around and share with you what is inside of our art cart. Okay, you guys, so here is our art cart and in this first level, I have five mixed media um, books here that I got from Target. Uh, I forgot to actually show them in my Target haul, but I did get them the same day. I also have some tracing paper. I have this Melissa and Doug drawing pad, which I've had for a long time, hence uh, it's falling apart. And I forgot to show this in my Target haul as well, but I just got a big thing of construction paper. Moving on to this bin, which I got these bins from the Dollar Tree, and I'm not sure if I like them. They do connect right here, but I don't know if I like them. I feel like they're kind of flimsy and they fall over, but it could also be because these are pretty heavy. So, I don't know. We'll see. I might maybe get magazine racks. I don't know. If any of you have used Dollar Tree ones and then anything else that works better than Dollar Tree, please leave a comment and let me know because I might swap it out. I just figured they're $1.25. I'm just going to try it out. So, um, there's that. In this uh, one, I just have this uh, Down by the Sea. This is Draw and Paint Watercolor Acrylic and what is it? Pen and ink. Uh, this is the art curriculum that we're, well, both of these are the art curriculum that we're going to be using this year. I have Evan Moore, how to teach art to children, along with this living art lessons from Masterbooks. I also have the student journal. Uh, it's coming. It's on its way. So that will be in this as well. And then here I just have some paint smocks and then uh, these I got from the Dollar Tree last year. We just use them for paint, uh, to put paint on. On the second tier here, I just have these galvanized, uh, tins. I actually got these from my mother-in-law, but they are the Home and Garden brand. Um, and I just bought some Super Tips and then also these Fine Tips by Crayola. Here I just have some watercolored pencils, and then here are all of our brushes. Okay, and then back here, these are actually pantry containers. I found them at a garage sale, and I never used them, so I decided to just put them on my art cart to organize stuff. And we have two packs of erasable colored pencils. I also have, this is hard to film. I also, back here, I have just some pencils. Um, in this one, I just have some watercolors that we haven't used yet. They're just brand new. Along with some Dollar Tree paint brushes, uh, just different types of paint brushes. And then over in this bin, I have these little mini washable paints and some of these, um, I don't know what these are called, the little things you put the paint in. Uh, so that is what is in this one. And then down here I have this orange little caddy actually came from one of the, one of those bins, the Latchmate bins, and I wasn't using it. So I decided to utilize it for this cart. 
and organize with it. Okay, so let's just start back here. Back here, back here, I just have just some random stuff. I actually shared this in my Target haul and Faith already used it. She loves this, you guys. She was making so many cool, unique things with it. So it just came with a ton of pipe cleaners, some of these pom-poms, and then googly eyes, different sizes. So I have that in there. I also have some popsicle sticks, just normal ones, and then some colored popsicle sticks. Uh, I have, is that it in there? Yeah, I think that's it. I also have these are from, uh, these are chalk pastels from Guide Dots. We love Guide Dots, you guys. It is amazing. Uh, I also have in this little thing, I just have some colored chalk. I have a glass um, jar. This was a jelly jar, and we use these uh, for when we watercolor. And then I have one of these watercolor paint palettes, um, which, you know what, I have to say, I actually prefer the... I actually prefer the Crayola watercolor over these. I, I got this a couple years ago, and these are just really chalky. But, I mean, they're fine for what we're doing. Um, and then over here, I just have some packing paper, you guys. I love this stuff. Um, it comes in Amazon boxes or any other boxes. I keep it, and I craft with it, or I just lay it out on a surface for my kids to paint on, but mostly I use it for crafting because I I also have trays that I lay out for my kids to when they're painting and playing with Play-Doh and stuff. Uh, they're like lunch trays. Um, in this jar right here, which is a, a peanut butter jar I washed out. I like to reuse jars, guys. Uh, I just have some pencils and I also have these, um, what are these called? alcohol markers that I got from our guide dots kit. I have some regular chalk. I found these at the Dollar Tree the other day, you guys. Oh my gosh. We love peg people and both Faith and I saw these. I wish they had more because I would have bought another pack, but both Faith and I saw these and we were like, oh my gosh, these are so cute little mushrooms because I paint my kids peg people and they love them so much. So Faith wants to paint some of these and I'm, I'm probably going to paint some too because I am so excited to find those. I hope they come out with more little peg things because, oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. I don't know why. I also have a battery operated pencil sharpener some scissors well two pairs of scissors and then right here is where i keep um liquid glue and uh glue sticks so yeah there's a little overview of our cart again i am so excited uh we've always had pretty much an art cart but i just kind of swapped it up this year and i'm really loving where everything is on it all right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed taking a look inside of our art cart. Um, you guys, I just love this thing so much. It makes me so happy. And yeah, just all of our art supplies or most of our art supplies on one cart, bring it in and out. And yeah, uh, it's in my garage, so I don't have to worry about my little ones putting things all over the place, like glue and uh, markers everywhere and I don't know I love how I organized it this year if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like content like this make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video all right guys have a blessed day